Hey guys, this is Karthika Kantwal from Apex Finsav and after break, I'm back with your daily dose of charts for tomorrow's trading session. It is the first trading session of this year 2021 and uh, I sincerely hope that all of us are able to start the new year on a really nice and green trading session. Uh, well, with that, I also wish you all a very very happy new year. I was not able to prepare anything over the weekend. As I said, uh, I was on a break with friends and family, so I did get very little time to do that. Now. Starting with what's new for tomorrow, with the equity watch list as usual, the first trade that we have planned is a long on HCL deck. It has made a very strong higher high high low formation. However, the structure is also resembling a rising wedge as of now. But uh, as a pattern always goes, we can't exactly say until and unless it's broken out of that pattern. So right now, the charts say to go long at 940, stop loss at 930 under the previous swing low. Ideal targets 1% on the upside. Moving on to the second one, SBIN. Similar to HCL deck, we have a long plant here. However, none of that rising wedge crap here. We have a very simple high rise, high low formation. Long entry plant at the nearest demand zone at 275. Stop loss at 272. Ideal targets 1% on the upside. The third one is TVS Motors, where we have a short plant at 500. This is a trade that we have taken before and it did work out really nicely. It is a big psychological resistance and uh, you know a strong supply zone as well. Stop loss being at 507, ideal targets 1% on the downside. The fourth one is a short plant on Kotak Bank near the uh, recent height that it made which is also a supply zone at this point at 2015. Stop loss above the highs at 2040, ideal targets 1% on the downside. The final liquidity trade that we have is a long plant on MNM where it has broken a previous resistance. Uh, in fact, it was a support before, was broken on the downside, was acting as a resistance all this time. Now it has been broken, so it should act as support once again. So we have a long plant at 720, stop loss at 710, ideal targets 1% on the upside. This marks the end of the equity watch list. Talking about the most sought after things, the index analysis for tomorrow, starting with first uh, Nifty. Now one thing to be noted is despite all the bullish sentiment that we have, the charts aren't really indicating any sustained buying as of now. We did have a very very strong up move all the way from about 22nd till 30th or even 31st you can say. But after that we have been you know you can say slightly uh, consolidating all this time. So it's not exactly uh, you know a good indication for that the trend is going to continue. Even the moving averages are starting to come closer. However, we have a deciding zone as per the charts at about 13.950. If this zone is sustained, uh, we can see a breakout above 14.050. So for immediate entry uh, or you know aggressive entries, you can go long under 13.950 or uh, sorry short under 13.950 or long above 14.050. But between that, it's not really a, a possible trade for me at least. When I talk about the other zones. All we, we only have actually demand zones right now because again the market is at all time highs. So I have used a bit of Fibonacci retracements but even that only gives us a possible entry near 13,830 or 13,850. Uh, that's it as per the charts. So referring to the option chain for Nifty, you have immediate resistance at 14,100 which does indicate that we might have a healthy breakout above 14,000 tomorrow leading all the way to 14,100 at uh, with 708,000 rabbit contracts. Significant at 14,200 with a massive 1.2 million added contracts. On the support side, it is at 14,000 obviously with 1.2 million added contracts. Significant at 13,900 with 670,000 added contracts. The PCR is the bad part, however, the PCR of volume comes out to be at 1.01. So it is uh, quite tricky to trade on Nifty right now. The charts, however, are a lot more simpler on Bank Nifty. Now when we move on to bank nifty we have a immediate trading range of 30 about uh, 31100 till 31300 which is about 200 points about 0.6.7 percent on nifty uh, sorry bank nifty outside of this range you can go long targeting 31500 under that you can go short targeting 3900 so either way it's a good 300 points move if you are able to catch it when i talk about the option chain on bank nifty it is a bit easier to understand resistance being at 31300 with 335,000 added contracts, significant at 31,500 as I said the above target with 591,000 added contracts. Support side it's 31,000 with 402,000 added contracts, significant at 3,800 with 160,000 added contracts. 
The PCR2 is moderately bearish at 0.95, so it's not as bearish as it is on Nifty, but I believe this will be a lot easier to trade the range break. Now this marks the end of today's video guys. I hope you are able to make use of all the content that we are sharing and you are with us on the channel as well. As I post everything there before the market opens, the channel on Telegram is at the rate Apex Finsaw, so be sure to subscribe to that channel as well. As always, if you like the content, don't forget to like, share, subscribe to the channel, leave a nice comment and press that bell notification icon as well. Thank you so much for watching guys. Have a good night. Bye.